Right, we survived the trip into the Mohawk, and uh, this is the road we just came in on. Here's, uh, here's some good access to the water. Dogs. Oh. Oh, he's still in the truck. All right, let me let Gurr out. This is Mohawk Creek. Did you build the, uh, oh, that's your magazine up there. Yeah. Did you build that? Yeah. Oh, nice job. Now, are you going to have any issues with Forest Service on that, or are they going to leave that intact? Yeah. Or, or do you know? If, if I don't have uh, the ability to, to mine down here, then I really don't care. Oh, you were talking about possibly selling it too, huh? Well, not the not the magazine, but uh, the you know, I mean, maybe sell the mine. Yeah. yeah but. but that would include the magazine, correct? Yeah. yeah. There's old Gurry. He found a swimming hole. What are you doing down there, huh? You cooling your butt? Oh, uh, he's in. <laughs> Look at you know. The water can be two inches deep, and he'll be into it up to his ears. Now, this is this was a historic mine at one point, huh? They had this, they had actually worked this. Oh well, yeah, this was this was first opened in in 1899 by uh, a guy named William uh, McLean. And he is from the family that owned one of the two hotels in Graniteville. Uh, he opened it uh, January 12th in, uh, in 1899. And it was worked, to the best of my memory, until about 1907 when a fire came through here and wiped out the town. That, that now, was the town of Mohawk Flat that got right. burned out. Now, I don't know if Mohawk Flat was here prior to McLean opening the hard rock here. They may have been doing plaster. I don't know that. But uh, I know there's a lot of uh, Native American uh, you know, uh, artifacts around uh, on the other side of the river from here. So it's a good possibility that Flat was an old Indian uh, you know, uh, tribe site too. Have you come across any plaster up here yourself? Oh yeah, there the is creek? plaster all over. Yeah, in in the creek. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you, I don't think you have to worry about them opening a McDonald's anywhere nearby. Now, right over the other side there is where the old mill used to be, the crusher stuff, and they had. Uh, that would have been on the bank over there. Yeah, well, kind of there, you know, a little bit further back and down, uh, just a little bit, but they had a, a, a trestle going across the creek here, so they come out of the, out of the tunnel with the work cart, go across the trestle, and then down to the, the mill over there. We're up here at the adit level right now. There's some T-rail up there, I guess, for one of the ore carts. By the powder magazine. Heading over towards the attic now. Now, was this tunnel already in place when you bought the property, Jan? Yeah, it was 100% caved in. And you said that once you got it uh, opened back up, you could see back into the old works about 300 feet or so? Yeah, we uh, roughly 300 foot in, we broke through into the old works, which wasn't collapsed. And there was maybe uh, close to 16 inches of, uh, you know, muck clay on the bottom still. And a couple of the sets were kind of leaning, but it was in all intact. And that same day is when we got the cease and desist order from the Forest Service over about the uh, waste discharge. And... Uh, that was the the water uh, issue on there, having a water and uh, you know rock. Now was the T rail already in place down here, or no. did you form that? No, we put all this in. How did you form the uh, the bends in the T rail? With a Jim Crow. Well, classic way, rather than using a tree, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nice 
Now you may have read about this tree uh, top coming out this past winter. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Somewhere, I can, well, right up there. The top. I see, I see it. And it came. I see it right now. over, and it and it came down on the other side of the powder magazine. That tree looks like it had been uh, fire scarred too. See, maybe a lightning strike. See all the uh, yeah, all the carbon on the side. That, no, it, it, I know what you're talking about, but it wasn't. Hmm. It's just been dying slowly for years. But yeah, that's that's the top of the tree right there. Wow. And it's about three feet into the ground. That's how close it came to landing on the magazine. Oh, in we've, addition to first of all, we've, we've got this big slip of rock that's come on down and actually wedged the whole uh, tunnel entrance over to the side to the point to where the door is just barely able to open up. So the idea is to eventually get that rock out of there and jack the uh, attic section open. And then you were saying, Jan? Okay, so in the process of pushing it, it put pressure on this wall, so it blew this wall in, and it knocked the next set down. Let's see if we can get any, any kind of video on this. I don't know how this is going to perform in low light levels. So you see it, it knocked all this in over here. Oh but, yeah. But worse, that, that set come down in there. Yeah, yeah, see what you mean. And, and to muck it out, I mean, it's also pinning the ore car because it's pushed. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's going to be a big job just getting that, that rock and stuff out. So this is your uh, your generator right here? Uh, that's one, but we don't usually use that. Use uh, this one. Oh, gotcha. this, is pro this is propane. Oh. Of course. Yeah, with under low low light level, we're not getting not getting uh, video very good on this. But these batteries used to stay charged from my Pelton wheel, because I had power running up to them. Now we just left the Mohawk, and we're now heading up to where? Well, we'll go back up to the top of this access road here, and then back down German Bar Road, down to the, across the bridge, and then go on back to where the cabin's at. And then uh, after that, we'll just go across the creek, and then turn right and go on up to where the the Jeep, the, the Toyota, and the TD24 are up there, and another one of my claims. Sounds good. And this is looking down the middle fork of the Yuba, gonna cross over towards Plumbago Road, which is just on the other side of the river down there. Okay, next stop is gonna be the Alchemist. The Alchemist. Oh, next stop, the Alchemist. We're down here at the bridge across Kanaka Creek. We've just come down off of the Mohawk. We're headed over towards the Alchemist and the cabin. We're going to take a look at the old power plant. It's uh, down here. It remains the old power plant, just off to the side of the bridge. There's, down there's a section of that riveted, probably 24 inch diameter hydraulic pipe. Now was that for from the pen stock for the power plant? Yeah. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit on there to, to see that. So where was the power plant? Where was it set at? Right here. Right across in front of where the bridge is. So, yeah, so did it straddle the... Uh, did it straddle the creek? Uh, well, you know, see that pipe coming out over there? I don't know what that's really for. There's the bridge embankment over there. Yeah. And it went straight across. And, it, and so I, I'm not sure uh, I'm how everything tied in. I'm going to zoom in to the pipe and the embankment over there. Figure that that wall over there was possibly part of the power plant. Yeah, it wasn't a bridge abutment. No, the bridge abutment is had down in, down in those trees over there. Oh, okay. And the trees are down. Oh, this again was 
part of the foundation yeah. for the power plant down here. Gotcha. All right. Jan was one of the early taggers up in this area. We can see right up here. Should be Jan MacGyver. Starting in 2000. Starting in 67. 1967 down here. Yeah. Going on up to 1999. With a carriage return back here to 2000 and continuing on up to 11. Are you proud of yourself for defacing this public property? Yes, I am very proud of myself. How, prou how proud are you? Enough to have a beer. <laughs> bon appetit. I lived for 10 years of my life. And all the damage to the cabin that we're seeing, this is the windows and the doors that got ripped off That's by, damaged force. by the Forest Service. Every, all, everything. There's a whole porch out here with railings and stairs. They, they ripped all that out. So they just wanted to make sure no one was going to live in that cabin again, huh? Yeah, the only damage that wasn't from the Forest Service is right there where those boards are nailed on. That was when I was in Alaska and a bear busted its way through the side. Yeah, I remember that from your posts. This is the Alchemist claim. It's on a nice little flat. I had somehow pictured uh, a smaller cabin sitting perched on a hillside, real steep. But Kanaka Creek is just probably, what, 100 yards away from us, maybe? The river. The river, rather. Middle fork of the river. Yeah. It's... Hey Jan, they left your toilet seat. <laughs> yeah. 